We will now look at uh, electrical elements and circuits. An electrical element has at least two terminals and what are terminals? Basically, they are points into which current can flow. Okay. So, a generic element is represented by a box with uh, two wires sticking out like this. Okay. So, this is terminal 1 and terminal 2 and a current can flow into this terminal and we measure voltages across any pairs of terminals. In this case, we have only one pair of terminals and we have just a single voltage that can be measured and the key point is that for us, we will only work with the relationships between V and I that is V between the terminals and I going through the terminals. Okay, that is good enough for us. We do not need to worry about the internal details. The internal details are required for designing the element, but not for circuit analysis. Okay. Now, of course, we can have electrical elements with more than uh, two terminals. So, we can have an element like this, which has three terminals. We can have currents going into all three of them and we can also measure the voltages between any two of those terminals. Now, soon it will become clear that if we have an n terminal element, there are n minus 1 independent voltages and currents. Okay. Now, what is an electrical circuit? basically an interconnection of elements such that there is at least one loop of elements. I'll show this with examples of uh, two terminal elements. Okay, so we can have some components. Let's not worry about what these components are at the moment. So we can have a number of uh, components connected here. Okay, a loop is something where you start from a node and you go trace the elements, and somehow or the other you can go through many elements and come back to the same node. And what is a node? it is a point of uh, interconnection of two or more elements. Now, what is this uh, definition of electrical circuit? We said that we have to have at least one loop. Okay. So, that is because we want to have some interesting behavior in the circuit. That is, if we have a circuit such as this, let me take so just a single element. Okay, there is no loop. You will quickly see that the current in this will be zero. Okay, so it's not interesting at all, and it's not just a single element. You can have a number of them uh, chained together. Okay, still, if the no loop is formed at all, then the current through this will be zero. Basically, these circuits are not interesting at all. Okay, to have some interesting behavior in the circuit, you need to have at least one loop. 
okay the node is a uh, point of uh, interconnection of uh, two or more elements and loop is a closed path consisting of elements okay now these are all uh, important concepts when we later go to analysis of circuits okay now i said the node is a point of interconnection so what it means is not necessarily that it's physically drawn as a point okay i could draw it like this let me draw a circuit of this type and as far as we are concerned now the wires will have no resistance whatsoever okay all our wires are ideal that means that there are ideal equipotentials and so on okay now this whole thing here which is a point of interconnection of this element this element and that element is a node okay so this is a node that is a node that's a node and this whole thing is a single node okay 